Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Pearl and I'm the orchestra teacher at Uncle School. And today I'm gonna to show you the instruments of the string family. I'm gonna start with the instruments that we call the upper strings, which is the violin and the viola. So this right here is a violin and it is the highest member of the string family. Um, one of the things you should know about the string instruments is that they all come in different sizes. So if you're a very tall person, you could play a violin, and if you're a very short person, you can play a bass. So uh, they do all come in different sizes to fit your body type, okay? So here's the violin. It's the highest member of the string family, and um, all of the string instruments can be played two ways. They can be played by plucking the strings, or by using the bow. Um, and I said that the violin is the highest member of the string family, so I'm gonna show you uh, the basic range of a violin. It goes from this lowest sound, can't go any lower, all the way up. And it can go even higher than that. So violins are known for playing pretty high. Okay, so I'm gonna play a little song for you that you should recognize on the violin. So that was a little under the sea from the Little Mermaid. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the viola. I'm gonna compare them for you. Let me bend down and get my viola here. And you can see that in general, the viola is a larger instrument than the violin. So since it's a larger instrument, it's gonna have a lower sound. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the low range of the viola. The violin cannot go this low. pizzicato or plucked strings. Okay, and uh, I'll play something for you uh, on the viola. Let's see, let's do... Um, the sun for you okay so that's the violin and the viola which are the upper strings so now I'm going to show you what we call the lower strings okay these are the larger instruments of the string family and that would be the cello and the bass now this one is the cello okay as you can see it's a lot bigger than the viola and uh, I have to sit down to play this one Okay, and since it's a lot bigger than the viola, you're gonna hear it goes a lot lower. Okay, um, so I'll play little tunes for you on this so you can get the idea of what a cello sounds like. And uh, how about... Um, um for you or brother John and I'll play a song using the bow um, let's say how about somewhere over the rainbow <laughs> is the cello. Okay, so the last instrument in the string family is the string bass, and it's the lowest sounding string instrument that we have, and you can see it's also the largest. Um, this is the instrument that we have to play standing up because it's so big. Okay, so the string bass, uh, it can play kind of high, you know, for a relatively 
relatively high. But then it gets really low. Most fun things to play on a bass. Okay, um, and again, you can play it by using the bow. Um, let's say, let's do. Uh, Tune, my country tis of thee, and a um, little something pizzicato. Little Seven Nation Army for you. Okay, so those are all of the instruments of the string family. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Marson and I'm the band teacher at Ankwa Elementary School in the Massapequa School District. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the flute, which is part of the woodwind family of instruments. The flute is one of the highest pitched instruments in the woodwind family and has a very unique singing voice and it sounds like this. That's the flute. One of the unique sounds that the flute can make is the trill. And I'll just play that really quickly for you. So that's the flute. It's a very sung-like instrument. It has a very sung-like voice in the band and it's a very important instrument in the band. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the flute. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Marson and I'm the band teacher at Ankwa Elementary School in the Massapequa School District. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the clarinet, which is part of the woodwind family of instruments. One of the reasons it's part of the woodwind family of instruments is because it's a reed instrument and there's a, it's played with a reed, which is generally made out of wood or bamboo. And that's one of the reasons it's part of the woodwind family. A clarinet is a very, very important instrument in the band and it sounds like this. That's the clarinet. One of the unique things about the clarinet is it's something that you hear sometimes on the popular kids show, Peppa Pig. Which is one of my daughter's favorite TV shows and my daughter also plays the clarinet. So that's clarinet. I hope you enjoyed the short demonstration of the clarinet. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Marson and I'm the band teacher at Ankwa Elementary School in the Massapequa School District. So today I'm going to be demonstrating the saxophone and the saxophone is a part of the woodwind family of instruments. And one of the reasons it's part of the woodwind family of instruments is because it's a reed instrument, which means it's played with a reed, which is typically made of a piece of wood. There's actually two saxophones in the band. There's the alto saxophone, which I have here, and there's also the tenor saxophone. Now, if you can see, they're both basically the same. They're both the same, but the tenor saxophone is bigger. So they're both played the same way, and they're both played also, if you can see here, I'm using a neck strap, a padded neck strap, which supports the weight of the instrument. So for both of the saxophones, I use a neck strap, and they're both played the same way, except the tenor saxophone is a little bit bigger, so the sound's a little bit deeper and a little bit lower. But they're both members of the band, and they're both members of the Woodward family.
So I am going to demonstrate the alto saxophone. the alto saxophone. Now one of the unique things about the saxophone, one of the cool things about the saxophone is that it's a jazz instrument. A lot of people think of jazz, they think of saxophone. Saxophone is a very, very important instrument in jazz. So I could play some jazz on the saxophone and it sounds like this. <laughs> So that's a unique thing about the saxophone. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the alto saxophone and thank you very much. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Marson and I'm the band teacher at Onkwa Elementary School in the Massapequa School District. So today I'm going to be demonstrating two of the brass family instruments, the French horn and the trumpet. Uh, these are both more of a higher pitched instrument in the band and in the brass family and they're both part of the brass family one of the reasons they're in the brass family is because they're made of brass and another unique thing about all brass instruments is the way we play it and the way we play these instruments is by buzzing our lips together like this so if you could do that there's a pretty good chance you'll be able to play any of the brass instruments so the first instrument i'm going to play is the french horn it's a very rich noble sounding instrument that's the French horn. This instrument, again, is the trumpet. It's one of the highest instruments in the band, and it sounds like this. Again, what's unique about this instrument is that it's a very high instrument. And that's the trumpet. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the trumpet and the French horn. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Marson and I'm the band teacher at Anqua Elementary School in the Massapequa School District. So today I'm going to be demonstrating two of the brass instruments, the trombone and the baritone horn. Now both of these are in the brass family and both of these are actually considered low brass because they play a little bit lower in pitch. So the first instrument I'm going to demonstrate is the baritone and it sounds like this. <laughs> the baritone. Now the baritone has a big brother. I don't have the instrument with me, but the big brother of the baritone is the tuba. And the tuba is set up just like the baritone. It has three valves, but it's a lot bigger and it's a lot deeper. But like I said, the baritone can play very, very low notes. So it goes very low and that's the baritone horn. It's played with three valves. And next is the trombone. The trombone is a very unique instrument 
because it has a slide. So you slide the slide to make sounds, different pitches on the instrument. So this is the trombone. So this was my instrument growing up. This is my main instrument. And again, one of the unique cool things that the trombone can do that none of the other band instruments can do is this. So that's kind of fun, like going up and down a slide. So I hope you enjoyed the trombone and the baritone, part of the brass family instruments.